Hi guys, I just want to show you my uh, Mark 7 in combination with the Dillon 650. I'm extremely satisfied with Mark 7 and, and it works great. So I just want to give my feedback for it. Uh, this is the tablet where you control everything. And then downwards you do have here the control box and the motor on the back side. And here's the mechanical part to get the stroke to uh, be done at the XL650. Right, so now I start the machine, put on the power, turn the light, start up the control panel. Accept. and everything is actually ready to to run but I need to calibrate the the unit so I push here calibrate and then the server goes down to bottom position and then up to the top position and what is it really doing right now is to set the zero point of the server servo and the stroke then you have 900 rounds per hour, 1200 rounds per hour, 1500 and 1800 rounds per hour. I actually go on 900 and maximum 1200 because I don't have the time actually to refill the primer tubes and brasses, bullets and so on. So it's better to go on 900 and to get it controlled. Maximum 1200 is what I have, have used. I calibrate it, then it goes to the top position and end position, so they set the servos zero point, so to say. Uh, here I can choose a single cycle, which once it goes up, and it goes, one bullet is, is done. Jog up and down, end cycle, digital clutch, that means what torque is allowed to go upwards. Uh, next one is torque to go downwards. Then actually the unit will will make an alarm and stop depending on what the figures you, we have set here. This goes all the way up to 20 actually and round 3 on 9 millimeters is, is excellent. 2 to 3 actually. 1 downwards I have found that is the, the best uh, level. I don't need any more for the, for the downstroke. Now we come to the monitors overview and here we can set primers, brass and bullet. We can see how many rounds that we have made and what speed we have done it in. We can enable the counter or disable it. In this case, of course, I want to have it enabled. We can reset it so it goes to zero here. Then we can set 10 primers, enter, stop at 8. So it means it to make two rounds and then it should stop the unit. The same can be done by four brasses, bullets, and at the in every view we do have run and cycle and stop all the time. That is a super feature. Right now we come to the sensor configuration page, and here I do have the primer sense enabled, powder sense I do not have, bullet sense I do not have either, so therefore this is not activated. But if I have them, activate them, then it's ready to go. Optical decapping sensor if you load and you, as I have done, I always uh, push out the primer. So this is empty, then I can't use the optical decapping sensor because if I push uh, run, sorry, if I push run with this activated, it makes an alarm. No ejected primer detected. Okay, end cycle and it goes down. So this means that if I deprime before and clean, I need to I get the alarm each time, so of course it doesn't work. 
But when I d prime, this is excellent to see that the, the d priming works in the correct way. Then I do have the remote stop. The remote stop is when I run the unit like that. I just push stop. Remote stop activated. This means I stop, change what is wrong, and then I push end cycle and it goes down to the right position ready for the next round. If I run the unit and I look on the primer sense as it is enabled, I could follow here the primer level. If I just hit it like that, you got directly the message, you are low on primers, please refill the primer tube. The unit goes down, follow the full stroke and stop in the right position. Now I push OK and I, then I refill the primer, primers and then I push run and I'm ready to go again. Safety shield, that is for electrical disturbance. And here, if I just do like this, so you can see how it looks like. And I just uh, push stop. It stops immediately. And then it says uh, remote stop activated. I just push end cycle. And then it goes down and stop, stop, stops in the right position to start the next load. Here you can see the optical decapping sensor, it's inside here. The electrical cable goes there, then we have the primer tubes, it goes down and we could then collect all the old primers in an easy and, and good way. But now I have it of course disabled, if I push and activate it, it stops, no ejected primer detected push OK and cycle and it goes down to the right position. And I just want to show you, uh, built into the servo is actually already an alarm system if something ends up wrong. So this, in this case, is a bullet that goes to the side and then I push single cycle and then directly the digital digital clutch is activated I need to press OK jog down then I jog down and I could take out the bullet and the brass that are wrong and then I could uh, push end cycle goes up and all the down and it's ready to go for the next round Another issue that could be is actually that the case jumps out due to the fact that there are powder inside the groove or something else. In this case, if I just run the unit, it locks and it stops immediately. So then we have the digital clutch activated, push OK, we go down. Then we look, okay, how hurt has this been? All right, this is too bad. So we throw that out. We push here and cycle. And then it's run to the top position. It goes down, ready for the next load. Then if we go to this setup page here, we do have the index speed. And that is how quick the shell plate will turn in the end position. Top dual, that is how long time it will stay in the top position. Primer depth and bottom trim could be adjusted depending on if you have an old 650 or it's a standard version. This is a brand new 650, so I keep this at zero. Also, the index speed and the top well uh, is on zero when I load 9 millimeters and 40 calibers. Um, if you have any other figures there, please let me know. It could be really good to know. Top slowdown, that is if I run one cycle, it goes up, stops, and then it goes quite soft down. I don't use it because it takes too long time and I get a good flow with these standard settings. If I show the index speed, if I go to five, and then I go up here at 5.2 and then I push again 
single cycle goes up and it holds goes down it goes very sl slow around when i want to adjust the different tools i just of course screw everything up so it's is there a space and then I press move to the top position then it will stop and hold so I can screw this down and calibrate each exactly as you do when you have the manual version if you want to see uh, how much the primer plunger goes up I take move to the bottom and then you have the mo uh, bottom position and cycle and you're ready to start loading again millimeters so here when I run as you see it goes very smooth and very exact all the time yeah that was all I wanted to show you and uh, thank you to mark 7 and to Dylan it's a great loading equipment thanks